All right, this is day one, and I have my breakfast with me, and I'm getting ready to go and wait in. Yeah, because I lost about a week this weekend, even though I ate horribly, and there was a lot of dairy-related desserts. So, shocked. Um, I guess we'll actually diet this week, and maybe hopefully see as much progress as I did not diet. Okay, so dinner for tonight is something frozen. Um, oh, this is supposed to be fried chicken, but I baked it instead, so it's really messed up looking, but it tastes good. And then some sort of edamame rice. So I think this is like 500 calories. Okay, so I forgot to fill my lunch, but I also forgot lunch, so I had to go to Subway and get a salad because it's like the only even closely healthy, not fried thing in the whole town. So, salad for lunch, and then this is dinner, like I just showed you. And I had a pop and a cliff bar today, also. I didn't write anything down, of course. Oops. <laughs> Making shawarma and cleaning. Alright, so it's day two and it's Tuesday, and I'm... <laughs> Early Fat Tuesday, uh, I'm making shawarma and I had a punch tooth. <laughs> so these were $1.99 a box. There's 12 in a box. They expire in three, less than three months, but they're actually pretty good. Now, they do have mushroom in them. I think that's the whole point, but, <clears throat> you know, pretty decent. Known as the sacred mushroom of immortality. I'm going in my drawer. Oh yeah. Don't mind that little guy. So I'm making tacos. And I just actually drained my meat for the first time like ever. Because I don't usually drain meat. Yeah, I know. Um, but it's actually still got... I might actually rinse the meat. I mean, it's supposed to be better for you, right? I don't know if there's going to be a real taste difference, so I might as well try, right? So, not like tacos are like a trying food anyway. <laughs> so I asked myself, what's the most dangerous lettuce I can buy? Yes. Also, I spin dry my lettuce. Yeah. I'm fancy like that. So, I know what you're thinking. Like, what? Are you trying to cut out fat? No, like, seriously not, really. But I don't... I haven't been eating sour cream for a long time because this is like the same thing. I know people say it's not, but I don't know. I, I like a lot of it, and I think I just like it. Like my food fluffy like that. This does it, so... I don't know. There we go. And that shit hurt really bad. For a minute. Then he woke up one day and he said, fuck that person. Never again in my life. Right? You want to see that shit? Oh, this is my disaster of a kitchen. Oh, don't don't mind this mess. Yeah, there's even squares behind. Don't worry about this. this is... 
nothing. Dude. This is my kitchen. It's very messy. Don't worry about it. Please get out of the kitchen. Um, I swear, I swear I clean it. I clean it like every day and it doesn't seem to get clean. Or I make it dirty immediately after making it clean. So, I decided. So I got these daily harvest things. I got a couple of them. I'm going to make this one. I feel like I'm... It looks pretty good. Um, don't buy my gumbo pen. It smells good. I definitely smell the banana. Uh, see, I think I smelled the peach first. So that's kind of good. Strawberry peach. There it is. All that stuff. So I'm going to make this. It says it recommends a, an almond milk. Or the last one I made with juice. It was amazing, but I, it's because that juice is amazing. So I had to clean one. It's, I've been drinking one of these every morning of my. I'll show you the. Of this stuff. I like that chocolate though. But because I use it a lot, I actually have it in here. So, and the best part is that I can drink coffee, and I'm, and it's, and it's like, like I can get a big dose of coffee, replenish caffeine, without actually having to drink the black coffee. Because I have to, to drink the black coffee, I have to cut it down with water, like all the time, and it's a lot of fluid. To try to get the same amount that you would get from like a cup of coffee, because you water it down, but adding it to the slim fast is really good in the morning. And how much do I add? Seven quarter teaspoons. Seven heaping quarter teaspoons. <laughs> yeah, it's the only scoop I had. I think it works out to about two teaspoons. So uh, any any more is bitter, it's real bitter, and sometimes it's hard to drink. Um, but that's almost perfect, and this, uh, I actually got five of these, but other flavors as well, and I know you're thinking, okay, sugar water, and on top of that, it's colored, yeah, 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 yep, it's 90 calories for four pumps, which is two t tablespoons, I measured it, I did measure it, I verified that, because I was like, I hope I'm not putting in 180 calories with the sugar in my smoothie every morning so no 90 that's fine i use the unsweetened almond milk and it's pretty much a wash for calories when you do the two i mean i could probably do the math and i probably add a little bit more sugar i could probably do three and a half pumps or something but whatever um i like it it tastes good so i haven't done the calories on it i kind of eyeball it based on a 200 calorie one i used to make but that was with sweetened and without the pump of sugar and whatever it's close um even if it were like 500 calories it's still not bad for breakfast um i think we kind of overthink common calories i think i i heard that a few people on sorry i should stop playing with that i heard from a couple people that are on um weight loss journeys maybe they've over focused on calorie counting and i haven't counted in a while and i'm still an advocate that you should keep track if you have no idea also, at the beginning, it's good to kind of see where your baseline is, kind of work it through. But I, I think the difficulty with people like us is that we're bingers, so it's not so much the daily calorie count. Like, they say it takes 3,000 calories to maintain our body weight, and we're like, how are we not losing weight? Well, it's not that you eat 3,000 calories every day. It's that you might eat 2,000 calories every day, and then two days a week eat way too much. Like, I feel like we probably hit 10,000 calorie days a lot more often than we realize. And I know when I start eating and I'm eating a lot, it's just like a bottomless pit. Like, I'm like, I need more. I need more. And I think it's sugar. I think it's sugar. I think it's all related to, like, alcoholism and stuff. Like, I think it's that same, like, sugar addiction. Um, I think your body's like going, ah! But anyways, so, yeah, I'm an addict, and so I'm going to eat sugar. Okay. Another annoying, kind of annoying thing about these cups is that they in, indicate you should fill it with the fluid while the things are in there. 
But then to try to put it in a little blender, like a normal person would have, not like a giant blender for like a family. Like, I imagine people buying these that probably don't have big families. Just saying. They're probably, what do they call them? Dinks? I'm not a dink, but I'm not going to say I can afford this. That's probably an overestimate. I probably couldn't afford to stay on something like this. So really, I shouldn't speak to it because I'm not their target. Those are good strawberries, so I'm not advocating them. They don't pay for me or pay me or anything, obviously. Nobody pays me for any of this stuff, obviously, right? I had the coupon, so I wanted to try it. I think I got half off or something for the first week. I got nine cups. They're like six some six some dollars a piece, like almost seven bucks a piece, seven something a piece. Something like that. But then half off, so it was like three fifty a a thing, so still kinda of overpriced. But I thought I'd try it. There's a couple other things. There's like actual vegetables and like a meal and like these bites. Let me show you. Here we go. These are like cookie bites. I had one or I had half of one. They're actually really filling. I should probably drink my smoothie first, but I There's one flavor in here that's really weird. I think it's the date. I don't think... Excuse my chewing. I think it's the date. So, like, I've cooked with the medjool dates or whatever before. It tastes similar. But this is, like, these flavors, like, accentuate the date's flavor, where I think you really want to cover up the date's flavor. So a lot of chocolate, cocoa, stuff like that can really wipe it out. But peanut butter kind of will take it. I made some really cool um date things um the other day i was trying to do a refrigerator challenge oh man so i'm gonna put these back actually you know what i'm gonna make my smoothie too and then i'll get back to you so another annoying thing is when you do dump them out there's actually quite a bit still in there so i don't know i'm gonna try to do this with the milk as I learned last time, no, you have to like literally scrape it out. I just swirled a bunch of milk in there and I still didn't get much of it. So, alright, that's another downfall to these things. But I also don't put them back in this cup, which I suppose you'd pick up those elements again if you did drink out of this. They do have like a straw hole. No, they don't send you with a plastic straw. Just kidding, they don't send you with a straw at all. But, I don't know, if you wanted to drink out of it, I guess. Whatever. I'm going to put some, whoop, some Greek yogurt. I know you're thinking this does not look like Greek yogurt. I agree. When I got it, I thought it looked way too thin as well, but I'm actually going to put a little bit in here. Oh, that is terrible. Oh, that is terrible. Ugh. It's so plain. Ugh. Like, white milk tastes better. Oof. I tried cutting it with my favorite juice, so. Nope. Nope. Still not, still not good. In fact, I think I'm going to have to dump this. I... Nope, can't do milk as a smoothie. <laughs> oh yeah, five for five this week. Love these things. I haven't had these since I was a kid. Oh yeah. No, I don't know how many calories there. Oh, okay. 